Well, it's an Adelaide showdown. Rory Sloan from the Crows is taking on Ollie Wines from Poor Power. I'm Joel Creasy. Let's play Telstra's pre-pre game game show. Well, let's meet our two teams playing for the pride of the SA. First up is Adelaide fan Stuart. Hey, Stuart, how are you? Good, thanks. Thanks for having me. Talk, talk to me about your uh, your fandom. Where does the passion come from? Came down from my parents, and uh, if I wanted to sort of sleep under the same roof as them, I had to follow the crows, and the passion grew pretty quickly from there. You've got a pretty great teammate from the Adelaide Crows. It's Mr. Rory Sloan. Hi, Rory. Hi, Joel. How are you, mate? All the better for seeing you. How's it all going? No, no, it's going well. I mean, we desperately need for a win against Port, so this might be our redemption because we haven't beaten them for a while. So, Stuart, how you feeling, buddy? I think it's uh, time for redemption. Yeah, I like that attitude. <laughs> Bring it on. Well, let's see who you are up against. It is time to meet Port Adelaide fan Monty. Hi, Monty. Hey, Joel. How are you, mate? How do you come to be such a huge Port Adelaide fan? Um, well, I was actually born in Bangladesh and uh, moved to Australia when I was four. And I started playing Auskick in 93 when Gavin Wanganeen won the Brownlow. So when he started to captain Port, uh, teal being my favourite colour, the rest, as they say, is history. That is brilliant. I like I like that logic. Well, let's meet your teammate. Oh, it's Ollie Wines. How are you, Ollie? Hey, Joel. Excited to be on. How do you reckon your chances are going to go? I haven't been on a game show. Um, used to love a lot of family family feuds, so excited to see how I go. Brilliant. Well, and a show you do like, I'm told, you're a big fan of maths. Is that correct? <laughs> I do like a bit of maths, yeah. I used to like it when there wasn't so much drama, but they're just hunting for Instagram likes, so I'm a bit over it now. Mm -hmm. So, Ollie, you're telling me that you used to love it when it was all about love. Yeah, a little, yeah when, when they were genuine. Love your kid out there, Monty. You got it all decked out there, don't you, mate? Oh, I set it up for Ollie, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this showdown started and into our first half. Our first half game is called What's Missing? Asking teams to identify what's missing from these iconic footy photos. Round one is missing ball. Adelaide, what do you think? If you look at the Giants guy underneath, looks like he's touching his butt, but look at where his eyes are. He's looking at A. That's very, very intelligent thinking. I'm, I'm happy to follow that in. Would well, Jezza probably grab that one? Yeah, A or B, I think. You choose. Lock in A, please. Thanks, Joel. All right, let's see if you were correct. Very well done. All right, on to round two and missing player. What do we think, teams? I'm glad I said I'll take this one because that's that's Andrew Walker, that one. Yeah, I agree. agree? We know this one, don't we, Monty? Know this one, yeah, mate. B. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. the confidence. All right, we're locking in B, Andrew Walker. Well, you got that one easily. All right, teams, well, what's missing from this banner? To ensure Tassie is where the Hawks to meet their demise, we've told our players a win is an A, is as easy as scallop pie. B, it means they'll fall from the sky. C, it means they can visit Mona. Or D, it means they get scallop pies. Yeah, that's a local dish down there, isn't it? A scallop pie. Oregon's A. David. I'm back in the end, let's go A. I like how it rolls off the tongue. I need to visit Mona actually, but it's not that. You reckon A, mate? Oh, maybe, maybe because they're hawks, the birds, that oh, might be B. Oh, yeah, I would have gone B. Yeah, I'm happy with B. Yeah, go B, please, Joel. Well, unfortunately, oh. D means they get solid pies. Okay, it's time to cut up the oranges because that is the half-time siren and it is all tied up at two points apiece. Showdowns tend to be quite close anyway, so there's no different to every other contest we've been in, I reckon. Well, it's anyone's game from here, so let's jump straight into the second half and a game we call AFL for Bet. Port Adelaide, which famous footy face would you like? Uh, I'm going to go with the great man, Basha Hawley. All right, let's see what letter you're getting. F. All right, you must take it in turns one at a time, naming things to do with footy, starting with F. You have 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. All right, uh, football, fans, um, handball to Ollie. Uh, football jumper, um, pass. Ah, uh, geez, this is hard. Uh, probably not. <laughs> um, Footscray, Footscray supporters, Footscray scarves. Um, Fremantle. Hmm. Fremantle. Fremantle supporters, Fremantle scarves, Fremantle hats, Fremantle <laughs> throwback jumpers. Oh, that was hard. Wow. We'll hope the Crows get the letter X or something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adelaide fans, Stuart, which face would you like? 
Probably not going to go Dangerfield, but we'll Charlie Cannon for that matter. Anyone else? Here? Any other extra nah. players? We'll go to Miller. All right, let's see what letter is behind his face. The letter D. Give 30 seconds on the clock. Take it away. I'll go defender, drop punt, drop kick, defense, the demons, pass. You got anything, Stuart? Uh, Dangerfield, uh, dogs, um, pass. Uh, Douglas, <laughs> Richard, that one was. Um, oh, pass, I don't know, I've got nothing here. Yeah, defense, he's a defender. That is the full-time siren, and our showdown winners are Adelaide on 10 points to Port Adelaide 6. Yes! A five, Stuart. Hey. About time we had a showdown win, I thought, so well done, buddy. Well, don't worry, you won't be leaving empty-handed. Telstra will be paying your phone bills for the next 12 months, plus organising you a KO subscription so you can string footy non-stop and organising you a Team Guernsey too. Excellent. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, the Crows take bragging rights and hopefully you're warmed up for the actual games ahead. Thank you so much for playing Telstra's pre-pre-game game show.